Hey guys, so as soon as I started filming, of course, and things are happening out there. Sorry, excuse the noise. So anyways, I'm doing a very casual day today where um, normally I wouldn't even put on makeup, but I like it when I don't, days like I don't want to put on makeup sometimes. Sorry, that's like bad, bad lighting because you're like right against the window. All right, bear with me. Um, maybe I can move you guys. Hey, come here. I feel like you're so delicate. But I feel like you can't really see what I'm doing. I need it right there is where I need it. That's not going to happen, so I'll just put you... All right, sorry about the backlighting, but, um... <clears throat> so, days where you kind of want to do your makeup, but kind of don't... So annoying. Like, every day I swear this happens. Um... I wanted to try out some new products. So today I'm going to be trying out all new products, because obviously you guys see me haul so much stuff. So what I'm using today, I kind of just get, like pick the new products I want to try out. So, the first thing I'm going to be trying is this Tarte, um, I can't even hear myself talk. The, the, uh, oh, this is yellow undertones, yellow and pink. So I'm going to try the medium neutral, I think, because I think tan sand might be a little too dark for me. I'm a little pale for right now. Um, so, I like, as you can see, I've never even opened this yet, but it's like a loose powder foundation. Which is kind of perfect because I wear a lot of cakey foundation, especially when I film. You guys see me wear a lot of like cake foundation, like heavy foundation. I call it, oh gosh, not just stick. I call it cake, but it's just heavy foundation. It's just full coverage. So um, I guess I'm going to like shake some of this out. I don't really know how this works. I haven't really seen many reviews. I mean, I've seen reviews, but not demos on it. So I'm going to shake a little bit of this out. Nothing came out. Okay. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe. This might be a big fail, but maybe I'm supposed to take the little brush and put it here. Oh, yeah, some came out. Okay, maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Maybe I'm putting this on wrong. I mean, I see a little coverage. I know it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but I'm going to just do it over my blemishes because that's what I really need covered. Maybe you're just supposed to focus on small areas first. Whew, it's warm already. I can feel it outside. I mean, I kind of just don't even feel like there's anything on. Am I doing this wrong, you guys? There's product that's coming out, so watch, I'm like shaking it, right? So there's product on my brush. I guess, and maybe it's just supposed to be super light. I don't know, ma'am. It's giving me a little coverage, but... I don't know. Okay, well, obviously I'm putting so much on, I don't think you're supposed to be putting that much on, so maybe that's just how it's supposed to sit on your face. We'll see how it goes throughout the day. But I know there was product on and now there's product off, so I know it's like going on. Alright. Well, I don't know if this is gonna be a favorite, guys. This is this is I don't know. Okay, so I got that, and then I'm also gonna be trying this um beach tint from Becca, which looks very beautiful, but I have no idea what it's gonna look like on. I don't even know how to put it on. Okay. I'm just going to sweep it over my eyelid. Hmm. I guess I'm just so used to having so much makeup on that when there's no, there, when it's li supposed to be little makeup, minimal makeup, I think it's like, hmm. Well, I don't know. I think today's going to be a sunglass day, guys. I don't know how I feel. See, it's like if I don't cake my makeup on, I feel like I don't have any makeup on at all. It's really pretty. I wonder if a Q-tip would work better or maybe just like a more dense brush. Um, I'm going to try maybe just a little more of a denser brush. Does this have any product? No, it's a clean brush. Okay. Because I see it has good color payoff on the brush. Or maybe you're supposed to apply it with your fingers. Because it does look so pretty. You guys are going to see it probably better in the lighting because I'm vlogging today. Mm. 
kind of looks like I just got red eye, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're supposed to use this different too. I don't know, guys. I'm actually not that great with makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, this is all first time trying things. So, anytime I try things for the first time, I actually don't usually like them. So, now this is the first time I'm trying Too Faced Size Queen. I actually repurchased the Better Than Sex one, which I love from Too Faced. So, I'm going to try the Size Queen. See what this looks like. Because I don't want to put false lashes on today. Ooh, big, thick brush. As I, like, love it. Holy cow, this brush is actually huge. It's actually scaring me. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, this brush scares me. It's... Because normally I like to layer, but this is like the scary... Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. This is scaring me. I'm going to go try the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes one because that's also a new one I haven't tried. This is, like, too big. Hold on, guys. I felt like I couldn't even get the product on with the Too Faced Size Queen because it was, like, just too big. Let's try this one. Okay, this one I feel like is a little more my comfort level because I like to, like, layer when I'm not wearing fall ass lashes. I, oh, and I just... Okay, that was good. You know... I want to say, drugstore mascara is so much easier to apply. So I don't buy high-end mascaras. Plus, this one kind of pokes you in the eye. Mmm. Oh. Can you guys tell a difference? I don't know. I mean, this is darker. I just feel like I couldn't get the product on right with this. Okay. I think both just take more concentration than I'm willing to put into a mascara, especially on an off day. I really like my Maybelline, like, pink and blue rocket thing. But I had to throw it out because it was getting old. Yeah, I think the Tarte is going to win this one between Size Queen and Lights Camera Flashes. I think it's gonna, I don't know, ma'am. Mm. Well, they look very uneven now. <laughs> I don't know. Cute, cute. I mean, look. I don't really throw away mascaras because they only last a few months anyway, so I'll keep both. Um, problem is, is they're both kind of pricey. They're both on the luxury side, so I don't know. Okay, so now all that's left is just a couple more face products and my lips. Okay, let's see. So this is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, and I'm kind of new to this whole Estee Lauder thing because I bought the Double Wear Foundation and Powder, and I actually really like it for my heavier makeup days. Um, so this is just huge looking. It's in deep, which I'm not exactly, this might be too dark for me actually right now. Cause I'm not exactly deep, but I love the hugeness of the packaging. Wow, it comes with a cute little brush. I can dig that, that's super cute. It's better than the Benefit ones because um, Benefit, you can't, oh wait, is there another layer on here? Ooh, fancy. Oh, maybe that's to keep. Okay. So I love the huge compact of this. So let's just see how this brush works. Oh, gosh, that's deep. That's too deep for... Well, it's good because when I'm having my spray tan, it's, like, really good because I always need, like, a deep bronzer. Um, this brush, tossing in the trash because it does not work. Um, I need, like, a little bronzer brush. I'm so fancy. You already know. Oh, wow. That went on a lot. Okay. Okay. I've got bruised cheeks. I've got bruised cheeks now. Oops. Okay. Maybe I put too much of this product on. I like it because I like that it is so deep, but oh, that wasn't even the right bronzer brush. Oops. This was my bronzer brush. Okay. That may help. 
because, like I said, it's so hard to find a bronzer that shows up when I'm really dark. So this color, this med is this medium deep? Oh no, this is deep. Okay, this is deep. I did probably buy it specifically for, I'm going to just like blend this out because this is a lot for what I, my color, my skin tone right now because I'm just kind of a little pale. Um, but I like that it is so deep and very little product had to be used to get that. Um, like this, love this. This is the bronze goddess. But like I said, this is the deep, so I almost needed like a shade or maybe two shades lighter for the skin tone I am now. But, um, you know, I dug it. Okay. Is this closed? Perfect little compact for your purse, too, because it has a nice big mirror. Um, okay, so now I'm going to be trying the Dandelion by Benefit. Again, this is the first time I'm using any of these products. And... This is almost like a highlight blush sort of thing. It's like a very soft pink, and a lot of people rave about it. Um, so I might just put a little on my cheeks, just a tiny bit. Well, that's a... Uh, I want to get a clean brush to get the true color of this here. I just washed a bunch of these, but sometimes it's hard to tell. So just going to dip a little in. Smile. This is pretty. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. it. Gave me a little color. And then for lips, I'm going super simple since I literally am like, just spending the day with my mom. And I'm going to be trying the Dior Lip Glow. This is the Dior Attic Lip Glow. It only comes in one color. It's um, sort of like a lip balm, but it has a little bit of a tint to it. Uh, Gigi talked about this, so got makeup all over me for that mascara. That's kind of what it looks like. It's just it's literally just supposed to be like a lip uh, balm with a little tint in it. And my lips have been dry lately, so. I'll tell you what, it feels so good. Oh my god. It feels good. And it does give you a little bit of a, a pink tint to it. Actually, a lot of a pink tint. I was just like smothering my lips in it because it felt really good, but actually, it's quite a bit of a tint. So, it is just one color. It's Dioratic Lip Glow. Mmm. I mean, it's pretty. I think I look pretty presentable. I think it's very pink, but that's okay because I have pink accents happening with my shoes and my bow. Um, so those are my first impressions of all those products. I, sorry, I can't talk. I, um, oh my God, it's like hot. I might need a change. I have jean shorts on, but I might need a change. The tart, these tart little babies, I don't know if I'm using them right. I do see a little more coverage now that I'm like looking at my face, but um, just not the coverage I'm used to. It's very light. Well, I almost want to say it's a medium coverage now because I do see it covering my spots that I had. Um, this Becca thing is very beautiful. I think maybe I'm just either I'm not looking in the right light right now or I didn't apply it right. But it's gorgeous. I want to like it. I think I like it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look in the light, guys, when I'm out. But I will definitely say yes to these powders. The Bronze Goddess and the Benefit Dandelions. Yes, yes, yes. And then... Um, this lip glow, I really like it. In fact, I'm going to toss this in my purse for today. But, um, yeah, so that was pretty much it. It's sort of like a janky get ready with me. So I don't really do get ready with me's on my main channel because I feel like they're just sort of, eh. Um, oh, my Facebook's back there. I'm like, what is on my computer? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if it was porn? JK. Okay, um, so I got to clean up my house a little. My mom's about to be here. Yay. 